Hello everyone, welcome to my classroom. So I just had my part one exam yesterday, the FCPS part one exam, and it went. Hmm. Start discussing the MCQs. Of course, the order is not the same as that of the paper, but I've tried my best to recall as many MCQs for you guys as much as possible for me. So let's start with the first page. So thyroid producing cells are derivative of recurrent nervous derivative of. So in these two questions, they were meant to ask about the derivatives of the arches and the pouches, the brachial arches and the pouches. So it's very important for you guys to memorize that chart. Moreover, the next question was central process of olfactory pathway affected. What would be the result? Uh, so I I observe a lot of questions were related to the olfactory pathway in the part two paper of ENT. So do uh, memorize that pathway and everything related to it uh, about the olfactory epithelium and there were so many other questions related to this thing. The next question was which structure of nasal septum is involved in depression of the nose? Uh, arcus eminus of semicircular canal is derivative of uh, there was the option of the different part of the bones of the skull. I don't know what was the answer or what were the options. I can recall the, a lot of options. The next question was development of the alar cartilage. It was related to embryology. Then tympanic plexus is formed by uh, the nerves were, the name of the nerves were given in the answers. Uh, Woodruff plexus is present at, uh, so this is the site for the posterior epistaxis. So it's important for you to memorize its location, which is given in the book of ANT. Then the next question was lower towards the location of what is the location of the fossa rhizomelar with respect to tuber. I don't know the full, uh, I cannot recall the full sentence, but it was uh, asking about the location of the fossa, which is given in the Eustachian tube anatomy. And then rheumatoid arthritis patient, uh, multiple bean shaped nodules, cervical node enlargement, how lymphocyte enters. So this was the uh, uh, stem of the question, but it was a very weird question. I cannot recall the full question maybe um, someone else can help you with it the other question was dilated people and it was a long scenario but the uh, key was dilated people and it was uh, asked about the nerve uh, the damaged nerve the next question was vertical diplopia and in ophthalmos and which part of the orbit is damaged so i was confused about the floor and the um, roof of the orbit i didn't know what was the answer you guys can check it on google then the next question was muscle of the pharynx is not supplied by the pharyngeal plexus and extrinsic muscle of the tongue cilia is present in its structure and the best example of the verbal communication this question was related to the ethics i think and then they were asked about receptors for tramadol their tramadol morphine receptors were given this was uh, related to pharmacology, then superior petrosal sinus is present in, sulfur granules present in, what is increased by stimulation of phospholipase C. Uh, sulfur granules, as I have discussed in my videos, so do watch that videos, uh, actinomycites uh, was the answer, I guess, related to sulfur granules, the yellow pigmentation was mentioned in the question. Then there was a question about staph infection. I didn't know there were the enzymes were given in the options. I don't know what was the question about, but it was something related to a staph infection. Then there was also the question about the TB and there was, was asked about the root of infection and also about the meningitis. And then there was a weird scenario about the occupational uh, lung diseases, uh, but the word uh, wood crusher was mentioned there. So maybe to the answer was silicosis, but I'm not sure, but occupational diseases are important to memorize. Right, and then there was a question about asbestos, methylalial plaques, and then coral neuropore closure. Uh, the defect in the coral neuropore closure caused what? And then there was a hormone that is responsible. Which hormone is responsible for leukogenesis and glycogenolysis? And then there was a question about the name of the cancer, which is caused by the bad esophagus. And then there was also a question about dysplasia, what is true about speech. Uh, basically, the question was about the development of speech. And then asthma question was there, and there was a... Um, this was a pharmacology question. The mode of action or mechanism of action was asked about whether hypertropium in asthma patients and then diphtheria toxin reaction and type of hypersensitivity. The table of the hypersensitivity in first aid is very important. All the examples. Then there was a question about uh, the transfusion reaction. Uh, the transfusion reaction, I think the duration of the infection was asked, the acute lung infection. 
And then there was a question about Mystic Myth. It was also a very weird scenario. I was not able to get the answer of this. And then there was a question about epithelium lining of the eustachian tube. And there was a question about Clara cells that when they are being replaced by the goblet cell in which part of the airway, there was uh, the option of the respiratory terminal bronchioles. And then there was uh, the question about sensory fibers of the trachea uh, and nerve supply. So there was a lot of questions about olfactory pathway as well as about the nerve supply and nerves and um, important arteries as well. So when you are preparing for FCPS, do focus on these points. So it was asked the what which ion caused the olfactory action potential, then action potential of endolymph by causing secretion of which ion, optic canal which other structure is damaged in the optic canal. Then there was a question about amount of intracellular fluid. The exact amount was asked. I think the answer was 28 liters. Then the right shift hemoglobin curve at which pressure the uh, the hemoglobin was 50% saturated. Then there was a question about the location of the superior laryngeal nerve. Ashlesia is caused by, and then hyperthyroid plus recurrent gastric ulcer and hypercalcemia. These were three uh, things that were given in the question, and the diagnosis was asked. The, then there was another question in which there was a platelet count uh, 12 into 10 raised to power 9 and then necomyosis, megakarocytic bone marrow and then there was history of bleeding and migratory glossitis uh, what is the other name for migratory glossitis and then there was an infection causing agent of infectious mononucleosis and there was a question about and there was a question about an OT instrument washed by alcohol which virus can still be present mutation in Burkitt lymphoma which lymphocyte is affected in infectious mononucleosis scenario was given about 60% lymphocytosis and the percentage of beta cells or sorry the percentage of B lymphocytes were asked. Atypical lymphocytosis is caused by which ionic change caused difficult to initiate the action potential. Injury root to tooth with joint is related to the injured structure. Partial sense neural loss in ear so what would be the result of the relief test. Um, olfactory pathway relay in homonymous cordonopia of the lower side and uh, tone decay seen in which disease which is responsible for the direction of anterior two third of the tongue nerve tongue is basically supplied by which nerve may it is part of the tympanic membrane supplied by which nerve which wrist muscle is responsible for closing the oropharyngeal isthmus adenoid tonsils are part of middle meningeal artery is a branch of hypoglossal nerve location in carotid triangle muscle to open the mouth and anesthesia with highest protein binding. Which nerve damage is occur in the interior triangle of the neck? The anesthesia of inferior alveolar nerve structure damage, buccinator and which muscle basically is attached, uh, is being pierced during the anesthesia. Stress hormone released during surgery first. Abductor of the vocal cord was asked. Posterior cricoletronide provide abduction by which artery is present at the base of the renal pyramid. It's very important for you to memorize the arteries of the renal pyramid or the renal capsule. And 60% of the blood supply go to which part of the body at rest. Scenario of a child was given and it was asked which virus can cause a sense of neural deafness. So it was asked facial nerve injury signs, what occurs at the angular fluid, AR murmur is best heard at, which increase the or what increase the salivary secretion. So highest frequency sounds are best heard at, frequency of utricle stimulation is related to, autolith is made of, I don't know it was autolith or what was the word, which increase salivary secretion, I think I have repeated this question. Action potential of utricle and there is a decreased production of surfactant. So what is going to be the result and dysphagia to liquids and what is going, what is the cause? Neurotransmitter of basal gas. Stimulation of which substance decreased gastric secretion. Total thyroidism or th thyroidectomy was done. So level of calcium were given and the symptoms of caprocosemia were there and their condition was asked. I think the answer was technically, I'm not sure. Depolarization of the ventricles are represented on ECG by glands and olfactory epithelium names. So the, I think the answer were Bowen's gland. I'm not sure about it. So this was the last question I can recall. Taste sensation will go to. Uh, so I was able to recall, I think, 93 question out of 100, which is very good. 
So I hope this video helped you guys and good luck for your exam and for all for all those who are appearing in November attempt. And if you guys want me to make this video in Urdu, I can make it in Urdu for you guys. So do let me know. Thank you for watching.